YouTube, what's going on? It's your guy Darren the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the Fashion and Fragrance Channel. Uh, if you're into fashion and fragrance, I hope you won't mind subscribing to the channel and make sure you enable notifications by hitting the bell icon. That way, anytime I upload new content, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. So, guys, as I said in the opening, we're going to be looking at a brand new fragrance from the House of Amouage, and this fragrance is called Search. This collection of fragrances has chosen to focus on the note of frankincense all right and if you guys know anything about the note of frankincense it is a note uh in that region of, of the world in oman uh that is used a lot in fragrances especially this the brand of amwaz they've almost made it always made it a case to uh to really focus on that particular note and in this particular series of fragrances you're going to get a chance to experience the note of frankincense in all of its complex glory uh, the note of frankincense can come off in many different facets. Again, it's a very, very complex note, ranging from coming off more woody, um, sometimes even spicy, sometimes slightly sweet and balsamic, uh, piney, and even uh, the note of frankincense has some more citrusy nuances to it. And uh, again, very complex note, but we're going to find all about how it's utilized in the fragrance, uh, the brand new fragrance that is from the brand. Uh, called search. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this brand new fragrance from the house of Amwash, you guys know the routine. Keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So, obviously, uh, the brand Amouage was uh, switched creative hands in 2019. It was taken over by Renaud Salmon. And I think, in my humble opinion, he's done an amazing job uh, with keeping the heritage and the, a lot of the elements of the brand that a lot of the fans of the brand of Amouage were used to and kind of bringing his own new creative modern twist to the brand. So uh, I think he's done an amazing job uh, in the new role of creative director of the brand. And again, this particular fragrance search comes from the newest collection uh, of the Odyssey collection that is, and there's four fragrances. Now, I wanna start off by looking at the presentation Obviously, I know you guys don't care as much about it, but I do want you to see what the fragrance looks like. It comes in this box, okay? And this is actually a sleeve. And you can slip it off. The actual box looks like this. You open it this way, and the fragrance rests very securely in the box. Now, there is a little bit of Detailing on the back, it says Oman, and then the, of course, the brand Amwash uh, um, uh, there in the back. And you actually see that detailing on the front as well. Okay, but that's about it for the presentation. Now we're going to get into the actual fragrance. Guys, before I go into the actual what this fragrance smells like, I do want to say that the brand did send this fragrance to me. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to give you 100% my honest feelings about this fragrance. I'm going to tell you what it smells like. I'm going to tell you guys, you know, how long it lasts and all those good things. And most importantly, what I think about it. So the fact that it was sent to me doesn't change uh, what I'm going to say. I mean, honestly, if you guys have been following my channel, you knew before I'm watched ever sent anything to me. I've had about 20, almost 25 fragrances from the brand that I bought with my own money. So I'm just a fan of this particular brand so again at the end of the day what i'm saying is i wouldn't compromise my true thoughts for a bottle because at the end of the day i can buy my own with that being said guys i just want to show you this bottle i love the bottle from pictures i thought that it was actually the same color as meander uh, which was a fragrance from a previous collection but this is a gorgeous almost sky blue powdery blue baby blue color i don't know but I don't know if it'll come through on camera, but it's not that mint green that you get from uh, Meander. It's actually, this is actually a baby blue, uh, 
bottle, maybe powdery blue, maybe some would describe it, but it's, it's gorgeous. The bottle is gorgeous, and I absolutely love the presentation on this one. You know, again, I'm more of a fan of blue than green. Green is not one of my favorite colors, but so I would say I like this one a little bit better than Meander, but again, the presentation on this is second to none. So I love the color uh, of the bottle. Of course, it has a magnetic cap on it, and let me show you guys the sprayer. There we go. Nice miss, nice miss there. So, you know, again, everything as far as the presentation, in my humble opinion, is a one. I'm smelling it in the air, so let's go ahead and get into the actual scent. All right, guys, so when you first spray this fragrance, how can I describe the opening? First of all, I am in love with the opening of the fragrance, all right? This fragrance really, to me, is about two main, two major accords. You're getting citruses and you're getting some smoke in the background. All right, now it's more complex than that, but if I had to really give you a quick summary, it is a lemony citrus fragrance with a nice smoky background. That's really simplifying it. But in the opening of this fragrance, it is lemon. So you get lemon, you get lime, and you get mandarin orange. And what that creates is this kind of yin and yang between this very sweet, vibrant, bright, uplifting, I would say, lemon accord, but it's contrasted by this kind of sweet, but a little bit bitter uh, mandarin slash lime note in the opening of the fragrance. So again, I think it creates the perfect balance in the opening of the fragrance because you got this kind of sweet, zesty lemon note, but then you kind of have this kind of bitter uh, lime note with a little bit of sweetness and bitterness that's coming from the actual mandarin orange. Now, what this really, this uh, these notes all together really smell like to me, uh, back in the day, I don't know if you guys remember or have I had the chance to uh, eat lemon heads, but the opening of this fragrance smells just like lemon heads to me. And I don't know about you, but I find that to be very, 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 uh, to be a very appealing aroma. And then you really gonna get that for the first 10 minutes and it really, it jumps out there and it stays around for about 10 minutes. All right, so I found myself when I, when I wore this fragrance, you know, I kept going back to my hand and I literally felt like I could hold my hand to my nose for that entire 10 minutes because I really love the opening of this fragrance that much. But again, you get a slightly bitter, bitterness that's coming from the lime and the mandarin, but then you have the sweetness that's coming from the lemon. Again, perfect yin to the yang in the opening of the fragrance. Now, as this fragrance starts to transition, you're gonna get a note of elemi that comes in here, and it, really the elemi gives off this kind of piney nuance. And in my humble opinion, this is where you can really start to appreciate the artistry and the, the mind of a perfumer. Uh, because the, the, the elemi to me is the perfect transitional note to take you from that really nice, you know, kind of zesty uh, citrus opening to transition to the heart of the fragrance where you start to get some of the more smokier, woody and spicier elements uh, of the fragrance. So again, that piney nuance really it does a great job of transitioning from the opening, opening of the fragrance to the heart of the fragrance again, where you start to get the pine from the elemi, and then you start to get some of the more, for the most part, smokier uh, accords in the fragrance. Now. What is so brilliant about this and what I appreciate so much about uh, this particular fragrance is the creativity. Uh, and that's one of the things that I personally have always said that I really love about the, the brand of Amouage, which is, you know, for me, uh, one of the things that got me into really loving and appreciating this particular brand. Again, creativity. I don't have anything in my collection that smells anything like this particular fragrance and I'm very, very happy and pleased with that. You guys know how I felt over the past couple months, especially with designer fragrances about same old, same old, and this is something really new and exciting. So I really, really appreciate the creativity here. Now, again, you start to get some smoke. After that first 10 minutes, you get the piney nuance that transitions you to the heart of the fragrance where you start to get some smokier elements. Now the smoke in here is coming from a combination of Cade oil as well as guyac wood, all right? So the smoke to me really serves as a 
more kind of a backbone to the more citrusy, uh, piney nuances that you're getting uh, at this stage of the fragrance. And I was really, you know, puzzled when I wore this fragrance that I still kept getting this smell of almost like these freshly cut lemons as the fragrance really started to transition from the opening. And if you know anything about fragrances, for the most part, your top notes are the most, you know, obviously the most volatile notes in a composition. They usually dissipate after about five to 10 minutes. But I kept getting this really nice, very prominent lemony nuance throughout the course of the fragrance. And it kind of threw me off because kind of looking at the note breakdown. What that is coming from, and this is the brilliance of a perfumer, is the use of frankincense in this fragrance. Now, again, typically people don't think about frankincense and think about a getting a citrusy nuance from it, but that's exactly what you get from this fragrance because it is a brand of frankincense called Hajari. Hajari, I think I'm saying that correctly. Frankincense, which gives a very citrusy, lemony nuance to a fragrance, and that's exactly what you get in search. So imagine, you know, a bed of freshly cut lemons with a little bit of smoke in the background. And I think that really sums up this fragrance really from the mid onto the uh, dry down of the fragrance. Those two elements are gonna stick around for the duration. And I love the way that it was creatively done to give that smoky citrusy nuance from start to close in this particular fragrance. Again, brilliant. In my humble opinion, brilliant. Now about two hours into the dry down, uh, in addition to that, of course the lemon, the kind of lemony nuance that I spoke about is coming from the frankincense as well as the smokiness from the Cade oil. Uh, you're also uh, going to start to pick up on some kind of earthy, spicy earthiness and that's coming from the use of pepper as well as uh, vetiver in this fragrance. So. You start to get a little bit more, again, of that earthier, a slightly peppery uh, vibes and nuances that's coming from those two notes. And they just kind of act more as, not as prominent, but more as kind of supporting notes, giving a little bit more complexity to this fragrance. But again, it's really dominated by more citrusy, lemony type of accords and nuances and smoke. And that's really uh, what you're going to get from this particular scent. Now, as far as performance goes, um, I got seven, seven and a half hours of longevity on my skin. Now, it was still kind of there after the seven and a half hour mark, but it, not to the point where I would really count more so the longevity. I had to really, really dig in to get it, but it was kind of still there. But again, I would say seven, seven and a half hours is what I got on my skin. Now, as far as on my clothes, I have a shirt that I wore yesterday. Uh, and I can still smell it very strongly on the shirt. So the performance aspect uh, of it is there, but I like that because it's gonna come off as a, as a more, you know, kind of fresh citrus, almost a citrus aromatic kind of scent, but it's gonna get, get you some great performance. So that leads me to the, as far as the seasons, this is really, I would say primarily spring, summer, but because of those smokier elements, although they don't overtake the fragrance, you still can wear this fragrance in the fall. And honestly, like I did yesterday, you can probably get away with wearing this in the winter because it does have a smoky nuance to it. A little bit of a spicy nuance to it as well, which typically those accords lends itself to being uh, something that really helps a fragrance to really be worn when it's colder outside. So. With that being said, I think it really could be signature scent worthy uh, for a person that loves this kind of scent profile. So overall guys, at the end of the day, my assessment of this fragrance is I really, really enjoy this fragrance. Again, one of the things that's huge to me right now is creativity. And the fact that I don't have anything, anything in my collection that, that closely resembles this fragrance, I give big kudos to Amwaj for their creativity. Now you're probably gonna see this fragrance again because I think, in my humble opinion, it is a great spring summer fragrance. I think, again, I don't have out of all the bottles in my collection anything like this, so I'm really going to enjoy uh, rocking this thing when it gets warmer outside. Uh, but like I said, it's not restricted to that. That's just when I'm going to look forward to wearing it. So overall, my assessment of this fragrance is that this is very well done 
and I am looking forward to wearing it this upcoming spring and summer. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I just wanted to come and give my thoughts on the, one of the newest releases from the House of Anwaj. Again, this fragrance being entitled Search. As always, I sincerely appreciate your time, your attention to these videos. I know you guys don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. And don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.